And welcome back, folks. My name is Josh. This is Gaming Joy. And we're continuing our first day on Middleburg. Today, well, we finished our harvest um, for the other two fields, the other corn fields. And now we've got to do something with that corn. So we're going to continue on with what we were doing, which is driving these... This auger trailer down to the still... And then using the still to make ourselves some corn whiskey. Now, as that's going, and since it's still the first day, we're going to have to wait a day or two for all of that to process. We have to finish setting up our farm. We haven't even set up our farm. We got our first harvest done, which is great. But we have to still finish setting up the farm. So we do need to get some animals. We're going to get ourselves some chickens because we got the chicken food. We probably won't get the cows just yet because we do need the straw. And to get the straw, we might actually do a... Let's get out of here. Let's jump into this. And... I have to move it slightly. There it is. Overload corn. Turn it on. Overload corn. And what will happen here is the auger will fill it up and the crusher will dump it out. And as it dumps it out, it will dump it into our still as crushed corn or cracked corn input, which is great. It's exactly what we want. I gotta stay on top of overloading to make sure it happens right. <laughs> so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go over and get some uh, chickens, feed our chickens with the food we bought the other day, and then maybe we'll, um, we're gonna either look at doing a contract or possibly just mow our own grass and get some of the TMR and hay and grass and silage, all of that stuff started so that we can have cows. Uh, initially, we'll probably just feed our cows with some hay, so we might get some cows today too. We'll see. Turn the engine off there. This one is good. Let's turn that one off too. We're gonna have to move this, do some more moving of corn. We'll do that later. While we're at it, let's just drop by the drop by the chickens. And we're gonna buy some chickens. Let's see. We can have up to 360 here. Um let's get some chickens that are ready to go. We have a little bit of money. Can I buy 60 chickens? It's three grand. We have 15. Let's buy 60 to start. Let's do that. Let's not do go too over crazy. Let's just buy 60 to start. Next we gotta do, we gotta feed our chickens. So let's go drop this auger thing off. I'm actually gonna leave it near the silo because the next thing we have to do is move more corn. We got plenty of corn to move. So we're gonna have to move it. Let's head over here. Grab one of these bags of chicken food and feed our chickens. Our chickens love those cereal crops, and we don't have any cereal crops yet. So we're going to have to get some. Where do we get... It is the front end loader of forks. Hmm. Let me see if we can find them. Be right back. There they are. I found them. All right, let's get our front loader forks. And I think I have enough. I think this tractor is going to have just by itself has enough weight to move one of these big bags. But I'm not sure, so we're going to find out. If so, we might have to get a weight. Okay. 
Lizard wheat. That's what this is. It doesn't say chicken food. It says lizard wheat. Oh, looks like we have just enough weight on here. Actually, maybe not. Back end's floating a little bit. You know what? Let's do. Let's have the store deliver us a weight. Because, well, that's what we're going to do. Let's just go in here and we need to get a weight. Gonna get a 1500 pound weight, that sounds about right. And we're gonna buy it. We're getting low on money, only down to 10 grand. <laughs> but honestly, everything we've done so far is to make money, so we will have some money coming in soon. Oops. Here, let's do this. Not that. Looks like it delivered the weight finishing the other way. That's fine. Now we can carry this weight this much easier. Let's go over and feed the chickens. There we go. Perfect. We have four of these to do. So let's zoom on through and get all four done. Be right back in a second. You know what? It looks like we're pretty much full. Capacity on that chicken pen is a little bit low. We may have to fix that. That's a task for future Josh. Today's Josh is just going to move the chicken feed over there and make sure that they have enough food. And if we need to feed them more later, we will. Oops. Still getting used to this front end loader. All right, let's hook up the header and get going. Start the engine. Oh, I left the tra tractor running. Oops. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll be back for him later. Check this thing out. Isn't this cool? This is a really nice mower. I, I like it. It's just kind of funky. It's different. This is kind of that swather kind of idea, but this is like super old school John Deere swather. And I don't know. It's just fun. Here we go. Now, I think this thing is actually controlled by the front two wheels. This is the hard part about this whole thing is I got to get along here and try not to run into the fence. We're going to try to mow as much as we can without running into the fence. So we're going to get some sh some cows in this field, and this is a really big field for the cows. But, you know, in all honesty, we don't have Maze Plus installed. We don't have the advanced animal stuff, so we don't have them actually grazing. So I'm going to go ahead and mow the grass that the cows are. Oh, there we go. Hit the fence. I'm going to go ahead and mow the grass in this field because it's a significant amount of grass. 
And then we're probably going to mow the rest of the grass around the property. Um, because, well, there's a lot of property and there's a lot of this kind of field grass. And we're going to need that grass to make hay and make silage. And we could probably make some money off the silage. We do have the forage depot, which is that gray building just over just by the entrance here. We talked about that in one of the last videos. And the Forage Depot is essentially a building of my own design, which is similar to other buildings, sometimes called a fermenter, sometimes called um, a TMR mixing factory, but it's basically, mine is a combination of both. It's a grass dryer, a TMR mixer, and a silage fermenter all in one, which for me is great because it's all one building. You literally provide it with grass and straw and you can make TMR because it does the conversion to hay, it does the mixing for TMR, all that. Great stuff. But for Middleburg, all I did was I took my own production, whoops, my own production building and just updated Middleburg to use the same production but just using a Middleburg asset. So it kind of fits. This is an actual asset from Middleburg, which was a fermenter. Um, but now it's a little bit smarter. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to zoom through here and probably jump into a quick, um, I don't know, time lapse while I mow this field. And we'll get going from there. I'll catch you guys in just a minute. Now, while that mower is mowing, we're going to go around and head to the store. We're going to pick up something special. Um, we're going to have to do some bailing. Now, this we need this bigger tractor for this one. The smaller one, it, it struggles a little bit on the hills. Not a big deal. We did, Luckily, we have two tractors. Let's turn this one off while we're here. Now, we have this big John Deere baler here. This thing's pretty cool. I like it because it has, uh, it can do silage, it has a silage tank, and it makes really big bales. And when I say really big bales, bigger than normal, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump down to the store and we're gonna grab ourselves a rake. Now, we're not just going to get any rake. We're going to be getting a rake that fits on the front of the tractor. So to do that, we're going to pick a... We're going to hit the rake on the front of the tractor. And then we're going to be able to rake and mow at the same time. Which is going to be pretty cool. Let's turn on our, our HUD real quick. We'll set this guy to go to the store shop shop by go so we can look at the store while we're on the way <laughs> and we're going to be going into here to windrowers scroll to the end we're going to get why, why is there two 
It's kind of strange. Anyways, that's all we want. Sam has twist. Perfect. It comes in black. That's nice. The little plus sign means that I've been in there. <laughs> I do not have enough money. Oh, no. Well, actually, let's take a little loan. Now, we're going to be able to make back most of this money right away. But just for the sake of it, we have a no loan right now. We're going to borrow, let's say, 15K just to be sure. And we're going to buy... Go back to windrowers. Buy the same as twist. Buy. Yes. Thank you. Now that we're done shopping, we can cancel this guy. J jump in ourselves. Mmm, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and pick up our windrower. And so that we can get in there and do some bailing while the worker runs all over that place uh, making the silage. Hmm. Where is the thing? Did I drive down here for nothing? Hold on. I'll take the heat on that one. That was the store deliveries mod messing with me. And <laughs> yeah, I had it actually delivered to the farm, paid for the delivery, but I drove all the way down here. Shows how much I'm paying attention, right? <laughs> Let's connect to this thing and head back. So the idea is, is we have the rake on the front, bailer on the back, and we can just bail and not miss anything and make lots of nice, beautiful bales with no problems. I really love how this store dealership is set up with all the, all the equipment in the front. And if for once a map author made it without actually having that equipment, be you can get into it. It's just sitting there. It's decoration the way it should be. Ah, that's the way it is. And let's zoom, zoom, zoom back up to the farm. Take two. <laughs> a little bit of a recording kerfuffle. We're going to redo exactly what I just did. Anyways, we're back at the farm. We're going to pick up our John Deere baler, um, which is a really fun baler. I really like it because the size and it actually trails really well. So let's pick it up. We're going to head over to our silage or not silage. We're going to head over to our field work fill station and fill up with silage additive because why not just that little bit of extra additive is going to help us go a long way as you can see this is probably the only, i think this is the only mod that gives us that ability to fill up with silage additive without buying it from the store in pallets which is one of the reasons why i think a lot of people like that mod it's one of the reasons i like it that's why i made it Anyways, we're back at the field. We're going to come around here and unfold everything. As you can see, I've already done it once because I messed up recording. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to pretend that I didn't. Uh, let's head over here to the side and we'll go from there. Let's turn everything on. Lower it down. Get this show on the road. One of the best benefits I like about using this little setup is this rake gets almost everything except for the corners, puts it into one nice stream, which the baler picks up. And then this baler is just a beast. It does such big bales. You can see them on the field, but it'll do 10,000 liter bales. Automatic drop. Look at those bills. Those are huge. I love it. <laughs> it's a little different. It's not your standard size bill, but that's okay because that's kind of what we want. We're doing things a little bit differently on this playthrough, as you can tell from the black tractors. And as we cruise around here, 
we're just going to bail up all of this now. I've used guys seen dozens of bales. The big thing here that I wanted to show off was this kind of fun setup with the wind rower and the special John Deere baler. But you've all seen bailing and, and wind rowing before. We're going to jump back in once this is all wind rowed and bailed up. And I will catch you when we're back with our pickup truck and our trailer picking up all these bales. I wonder how many bales we're going to get. Hmm. We'll see. Be back in a minute. Here we are finishing up the field. We have the last little bit. I don't think we're going to have enough for a whole new other bale. So. But we've gotten this whole field. And if we look at our stats, we have done 19 bales so far today, which is pretty incredible for this little field. And if you, you do the math, 19 times 10,000 is 190,000 liters of grass, which is not bad for day one on a new map. Now, that's not actually all the grass we're going to do. We're going to come back and mow a little bit around the property in all of the places that the property kind of gives us there's a ton of meadow grass we have access to a lot of it and so we're gonna kind of mow everything we can we'll go in between the trees and all kind of stuff around our property and get as much of this grass mowed up and we'll load it into the uh silo and go from there let's head over And we're going to leave the this together. This is going to set up. Eh, let's leave it right here. It's not in the way right here. Not until we get some cows. We're going to leave this set up right over here. Because we're going to have to collect some more grass. And then. Let's go. Get that loading wagon. Alright, we're over here with our, with our truck. This is the truck we're going to be using to pick up bales. Uh, it may not be 100% normal because it's not really a bale trailer. It's a gooseneck trailer. But on this series, we're going to be using Universal Auto Load. Now, Universal Auto Load supports loading pallets and bales and logs and many other things. And I've been working directly with Loki on getting this to work right. And as you can see, we have some pretty custom bales. One of the best parts about Universal Auto Load is that when you load, it can specify any anything you want. So what I've done is added these bales to the configuration for Universal Auto Load, added this trailer and modified its configuration so that it works really well with these bales, as well as configuring everything so that we're getting like the size and, and shape and whatnot of these custom really super huge bales to work right now if you're interested in universal auto load i do have a tutorial and i'll link that above on how to use universal auto load how to do all the setup process for universal auto load to get your your custom bales or your custom vehicle all set up with universal auto i do have a tutorial i'll link that above but the idea here is basically we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with Universal Auto Load. This whole map has tons of pallets and tons of custom pallets and tons of custom things to do. And you don't want to watch me load things with a forklift. So we're going to be using Universal Auto Load throughout this tutorial. And this is kind of how it goes. So here we go. We got our first 10 bales. And as you can see, we got 100,000 liters. Bada boom, bada boom. Nice loaded let's go grab the next what nine bales did we say we had 19 bales now my only problem right here with this vehicle is this truck is <laughs> as typical with farm sim this truck is <laughs> super like turbo charged and just like really wants to go like 150 miles an hour um which is just not accurate but it means that as i'm driving with the keyboard and mouse it's just like it's trying to take off every single time i press the press the keyboard to go forward so it's a little 
a little uh, tricky to drive. I may end up swapping out this vehicle for another one. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get these bales loaded up and into the fermenting silo. As we discussed last time, that silo is custom and custom to this map. Um, but it's essentially just a fermenting silo that's going to give us the ability to make everything we need to be able to make TMR. The goal obviously being to have cows in this field and have cows uh, eating TMR, which is kind of where we're hoping to go. So whether we get cows today or not is kind of unknown. I want to actually have food to feed them before I go get them. I want to be a responsible farmer and not be buying cows before I have everything to feed them. So we'll probably get the cows next time. Today, we got our 19 bales. Let's get them into the fermenting silo. And then we're going to go play with that mower some more because that mower is super fun. I should have swung a little bit wider around that corner. It's okay. I think it'll, it'll be nice to me. Put a bum, put a bum. Let's go park this up out of the way from mowing. Uh, we're going to get a lot of this grass kind of around the, around the property. We're going to get all of this grass mowed up. Let's just leave this right here. Let's check our fermenting silo. Do, 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 do. And get silage and hay going. The next thing we're going to need, we're going to make our TMR mix. We're going to need some straw. And to do that straw, we're going to have to check uh, for a contract. Maybe we'll do contract next time and get a contract going. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit more mowing with this little fun thing. I don't know why, but I really like this mower. It's just, it's simple. It's not super fast. It get, creates a nice swath. It's not like, uh, not really overpowered at all. It's kind of underpowered. I was looking up the details for this mower and it was actually made back in the late 70s, early 80s. And it was one of the first swather mowers of its kind. Which I find is pretty cool. A lot of the other companies like Heston and, and Massey and whatnot didn't come out with their swather mowers until the 90s. Whereas this deer, I think, came out in the 80s, which is kind of showing how much they wanted to be in that business. Now we're not going to get everything. We're not going to kind of fight to get all of this grass. We're just going to get a good portion of it. But I mean, in this, these two loops around my property, I've probably gotten, you know, another bale, bale and a half of grass, you know, which is 10,000 liters. And that's going to set us up for success for not only with the cows, but also maybe with some silage to sell. I think we're also going to do bale around kind of in and around the trees here behind the fermenting silo. And then we're also going to jump down and go around the fields too. Um, there's a significant amount of grass in the kind of open areas around the fields. And I think we're going to go get that. So I'm probably going to jump in oops, the tree. I'm probably going to jump into a time lapse and I will catch you guys in a few minutes once we're done with this one.
here we are finishing up that front hill. That was actually a lot more painful than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I honestly would not want to do this with anything bigger. This mower is kind of perfect for this. Um, it's the right size. It's really maneuverable because of the front wheel steering. I would not in any circumstances want to do this. We might actually clear out some of the uh, underbrush here. Some of these trees that are growing. Um that are like the low level bushes and stuff like that are kind of a pain in the butt. And we'll probably remove those just so it's easier to kind of mow through there as well as collect all that grass because we do have to collect it at some point. Uh, next, we're going to jump in and go around these fields a couple times, which I think is going to be a lot easier. Uh, from initial testing, as you guys, if you guys know me well enough so far, you'll know that I test everything. And before I do it, and from my initial testing, we're going to get a couple dozen bales off of the two surrounding fields. So it's definitely worthwhile to do. I don't think I'm going to do the grass area behind the house. Um, as that's just more of the same. And at some level, we're going to have too much grass. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, but for now, we're just going to jump in and... I'm going to jump back into that time lapse and, and kind of go around this field. Catch you guys back in just a minute. Welcome back. As you can see, we've done a ton of mowing here. We've got a lot of grass. This is going to be more grass than I think we're going to need for a while. I think we'll probably come back next time and bale all this up, collect it, see how many bales we get. And then hopefully next time actually get the purchase those cows. And since we have our processor getting some hay, Hopefully get some hay into the into the cow pen and get those going. But that's where we're going to leave it today. I want to say thank you everyone for, for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about what we're doing or what we're going on, what's going on here on the farm, please let me know it on the comments. And the big thing I'd like to let you know is that, you know, do you, are we enjoying this format? Is the shorter kind of videos, even though there's multiple videos in one day, is that something that's works out for you is that something you're enjoying i'm really enjoying this series i'm really enjoying this map i'm loving there's so many possibilities and so much to do on this map that i just really really think that we're gonna go really far with this and i can't wait to show it all to you so until next time don't forget to like comment and share it with your friends